Well, hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your twice-weekly dose of the finest 2A propaganda. Hey, I got a question for you. Should a convicted Hell's Angel who gets caught with a gun and almost a half pound of meth get less prison time than someone who got caught with a picture of a machine gun part and never broke any other laws? <laughs> it's a trick question. All gun laws are infringements. If the Hell's Angel can't be trusted to not deal meth or hurt people, well, he shouldn't have been released from prison in the first place. Fight me. According to an AFT press release, Jeffrey Baird was driving around with no license and a fake temporary plate when he got pulled over by the locals and arrested with a gun and 7.3 ounces of Walter's Cancer Fund. Crystal blue persuasion. Because he was a felon from previous weapons charges, he was sentenced to four years in prison, three years supervised release, and a $200 fee. Matt Hoover and Chris Irvin got five years simply for having a drawing of a machine gun part. And it's important to note that while the feds tried to make it sound like you could just pop the thing out and use it, that was a lie. The design couldn't just pop out, and while it was a representation of a lightning link, it was not to scale. So even if you painstakingly took the time to cut it out with the jeweler saw, it still couldn't actually function in a real gun. So what that means is F Troop gleefully put two peaceable men in the struggle cuddle cage for five years just for having a picture they didn't like when literal biker gang members get less time. If you think you hate the ATF enough, you're wrong. You hate me, and I hate you even more. But it would be impossible for us to produce quality to a propaganda without sponsors. So let's pay some bills. Today's video is sponsored by Franklin Armory because anything worth shooting is worth shooting twice. And going binary is your Fed approved solution. Want reduced split times and tighter groups? With a Franklin Armory binary firing system, you can improve these important shooting metrics and more. Visit FranklinArmory.com and gain the selectable option to fire on both the pull and release trigger functions of your semi-automatic firearm today. And by TNVC.com, your source for bespoke artisanal non-GMO night vision products expertly forged by Amish craftsmen in the heart of a dying star. And by Hydra. The Mark 15 Hydra is the most versatile black rifle platform the industry has ever seen. The most you will ever need to convert calibers is a barrel, bolt, and magwell. Changing is quick and easy, and the combinations are practically limitless. With just one serialized lower, you can have any configuration you can imagine. Now, there's a lot of misunderstanding going around about President Poopy Pants' new ATF rule about what constitutes being in the business of selling guns. And at 466 pages long, how could there not be some misunderstanding? I mean, the phrase predominantly earn a profit appears 122 times in the document. The average person doesn't even know this rule was published. Even if he did know about it and looked it up, how could a normal man sit and read this entire rule and determine whether or not a federal agency full of armed and demonstrably violent men will decide to come and put him in a cage? I don't think Congress intended to hand ATF the power to impose a universal background check, but they basically did just now by publishing a rule so incomprehensibly vague as to give themselves leave to arrest almost anyone who sells a gun. And they made it so long and convoluted that anyone who can't afford a lawyer is likely to just play it safe and do their transfer through a dealer even if they're selling one gun at a loss to a close friend. So I sat down and read all 466 pages so you wouldn't have to. <laughs> no, I didn't, I, I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I did skim through it and I found a list of activities the Fed boys say we are allowed to do. We can still give a gun as a gift, but now only a bona fide. River Darch. Real subtle how they include that, like they already suspect you of lying about it. You're also allowed to sell guns occasionally to get nicer guns, but I guess if you just want to buy more guns, it's off to the gulag. Or they'll permit you to sell, again, occasionally to a licensed dealer or to a family member. You hear this? They'll let you sell your own guns to an actual FFL holder 
occasionally. Like if you sold a gun too often, even to a dealer, you need to have a license too, I guess? None of this makes any sense. No, they'll let you get rid of your whole collection all at once, so long as you don't buy any new ones. But if you did the same thing over a period of time, they might kick your door in and owe Dark 30 while you're sleeping and unalive you. They'll also graciously permit you to sell guns you inherited, or if you are literally required by a court. You know what's not on that list? Selling to a stranger in a parking lot. Now I want to remind you, this is just the ATF rule. It's not remotely what the law says. The Bipartisan Gun Control Act passed in 2022 says you need to have a federal firearms license if you sell guns predominantly to earn a profit. So far as the actual law is concerned, it's still perfectly legal to buy and sell guns on the ARFCOM Equipment Exchange. Friends, we have got to stuff this federal genie back into its constitutional bottle. It is getting dangerous in its desperation, but we've been stacking wins in court like the white death stacked commie, so be sure to donate to the GOA, the FPC, the SAF, and every other worthy gun rights organization. Here's another story from the only one professional enough files. A New Jersey cop left a loaded AR with a whisper pickle just a laying out in the road for school kids to find, and I'm not being hyperbolic. It was laying there in the road when a school bus pulled up and the driver called the 5-0. The Reddit user who posted the pic claims a cop lives at the house this was laying in front of. Berlin, New Jersey police responded and investigated, but they haven't said anything yet except that it isn't one of their guns. If the internet is right, it wouldn't have been one of their guns. It looks like the cop who left it works for the Voorhees Township. Bearing in mind that proles like you and me aren't supposed to have semi-auto rifles or standard capacity magazines or, of course, not whisper pickles in New Jersey. What do you think should happen to this officer? Does he even deserve to be punished at all? Was it just a simple mistake? But hey, at least he wasn't selling guns to criminals like the DC police. Because DC laws are so hostile to licensed dealers, there were no gun shops in DC, so the Metro Police were required to perform transfers from April 3, 2020 through January 4th, 2021 to comply with a court order. During that period, they transferred more than 25 guns that later appeared at crime scenes. We don't know how many exactly, only that the MPD received a letter the ATF sends to dealers which have transferred more than 25 guns, which showed up at a crime scene in one year. To be clear, the MPD wasn't actually selling guns. If a DC resident wanted a gun, they had to find one online or at a nearby gun shop in Virginia or Maryland, and then have it transferred to the MPD, who would perform the NICS check and collect a $125 fee just for the transfer. How dare you? For perspective, my local FFL charges 15 bucks for a transfer and they have to turn a profit to stay in business. The police are performing a service which is supposed to be paid for by tax revenue. And now for your moment of Zen. Hi, my name is uh, Lily Tang Williams and welcome to my live free or die state. Actually, I am a, a Chinese immigrant who survived communism. So my question to you, David, is that can you guarantee me a gun owner tonight? Our government in the US, in DC, will never, never become a tyrannical government. Can you guarantee that to me? There's no way I can ever guarantee that any government will not be tyrannical. Well, then the debate on gun control is over because I will <laughs> never give up my guns. Hey friends, do you like pews and other pew related things? Would you like to help us keep delivering you pure uncut American pew pagana at the low, low price of free bitty? We literally couldn't pay the bills without our sponsors. So do us a solid and get yourself something nice from them. You deserve it. I love you. Loi, Lois, Lois, and Oi, mate. You got a license for that permit?